This reading is going to be on Angela Simmons. So this is going to be a little different while I was waiting for my stuff to load up. I have a reading part one and two on Keisha Cole that I'm going to be uploading. Right now I'm doing one on Angela Simmons. So let's get right into it, y'all. So with this two of cups, I am feeling like Angela Simmons is wanting a deep commitment, a marriage a family setting home and things of that nature. She really wants to settle down. And she's trying to cut out shit that does not long, no longer serve her. I'm also getting possibly in the past, maybe uh, someone could have lost their life, whether that's someone closest to her or someone she loved. Um, I'm getting that she has been working hard on herself and also working hard on cutting shit out that don't no longer serve her. She has left behind the bullshit, the lies, the secrets, the, the all the extra bullshit when it comes to these past relationships. She's starting to leave it behind, realizing she learned the lesson, you know, those lessons um, caught, taught her to go within and find love within. She's possibly been spending a lot of time alone trying to figure out who she really is. I'm also picking up on the energy now that she can uh, possibly see and use her intuition that she can spot bullshit and smell bullshit from a while mile away now due to um, experiences in these relationships. I'm also getting that, you know, she went through a lot because she didn't give herself time to heal when it came to these toxic relationships or men she was choosing. I'm also getting that they only wanted something sexual from her. She wanted something spiritual ordained from the most high. And they wanted just sex. We have, she has had a tower moment or more than one tower moment. We have this emperor energy. I'm getting maybe something could have been a little toxic. She was dealing with a dark energy. Someone who was sneaky, conniving, manipulative, possibly a narc, a narc or narcissistic person. I'm also getting, she just wants 10 of pentacles, a family, home, or her kids or kid. And she just wants to settle down. She don't want the fast life going into one relationship, leaving one relationship and going to another one unhealed and trying to find things that she knows within herself. She's no longer trying to look for love. I feel like she's attracting love. She's trying to attract. Of course, she's still looking and um, her options are open, but, you know, she's maybe trying to move slow. This time we have the death there is or was there is going to be a transformation or was a transformation. Um, I'm also getting that she has left all the past shit in the past. She's not moving backwards. Once she leaves someone, she continues to move forward. So she is just working on herself and giving herself love is the energy I'm picking up on. And I'm also getting that. She's very intuitive. She knew that this emperor or this old energy or just a uh, male in general was very, was abusing his power. He could have been emotionally, mentally, physically, and spiritually abusive to her. I'm also getting three of swords. Um, he hurt her, broke her heart. It was a bad breakup. There was some deceit, some lies, some betrayal. She's heartbroken or was heartbroken. Intuitively, she knew that um, this person or male wasn't for her, for her. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. I'm also getting that she is basically moved on with her life and is just trying to manifest new love. She wants to be married. I'm also hearing settle down. She wants something stable and solid. Someone who's not going to be in and out. Someone who doesn't want just something physically with her. Or something that just deals with sex. She wants somebody to be intelligent and mentally stable. You know, can hold a great conversation, you know, and not just think about sex all the time. She wants more than just a physical attraction. She wanted to be, want to be loved inside and out. Um, I'm also getting that she... Uh, could possibly, you know, be very creative or there's a creative side to her. And I'm also getting she is finding out who she truly is and what she really wants. And she's been manifesting some shit, putting some shit together. 
But like I said, she is open to love and she's been through a lot of heartbreak and betrayal and people who are uh, emotionally unavailable and people who are wishy-washy and motherfuckers come in and out and act like they really care about her and low-key they really don't give two fucks. You feel what I'm saying? So I know she's getting tired of just the, the energy of starting over every time is what I'm picking up on. And she was dealing with somebody who was very immature and things of that nature. You know, uh, would piss her off on purpose is the energy I'm picking up on. You know, hurt her purposely. And it took her a lot. It took her a lot to build the strength to tell other people. Or it took her a lot to leave things that, you know what I'm saying? Leave shit behind that she knew wasn't serving her. You feel what I'm saying? Wasn't no good for her. We got the Empress. We have Justice. We also have um, Ace of Cups. You know, she had to find that strength to walk away to get this new beginning, this new cup. Is the energy I'm picking up on. Um, also hearing shit, she, um, this, she could also want more kid, kids, a new addition as well. You know, if she does settle down as well. So I'm getting, yeah, she's still grieving over someone who has broke her heart or someone she's lost and she's still you know trying to get over her regrets and things of that nature or she has been getting over her bullshit you feel what I'm saying it's the energy I'm picking up on she does move very fast I do know that and so yeah and I'm getting somebody cheated so there was a third party situation as well and you know she is a lover and you know, not a fighter and people take advantage of you when you're empathetic and sweet and uh, loving and kind and caring. So I feel like a lot of them just took advantage of her. We have moon, we have lies, secrets, illusions. You know what I'm saying? Third party, you feel what I'm saying? She got her own paper, so she don't need nobody for shit. You feel what I'm saying? She just wants, that's what anyone wants. Everyone wants that. And I ain't going to say everyone, majority of people want that. You feel me? But she was feeling trapped when it came to certain situation, places, and things. Could have been a bad relationship that was keeping her trapped and depressed and scared and um in her head and de just depression and anxiety, fear, all types of shit, you know, because she had some codependency issues and attachment issues. You feel what I'm saying? It didn't give herself time to heal from one breakup to go into another motherfucking uh, relationship. But whoever she was tied to had some um, addictions and things of that nature. And it's like it was one karmic cycle, or one cycle that was repeating itself over and over. It's the energy that I get as well. So now she's going to have, at this point, she's happy. Of course, I said she has kids already, I'm guessing. So she wants more kids. Good fortune is coming her way. It's also the energy I'm picking up on. Even though, you know, in the past she has had some chaos, conflict, and people trying to keep her stagnant and confused and stuck. Whether that was friends, family members, or people she was working with. Could have been a lot of people in secret competition. But I'm getting this was a male who was immature and foolish as fuck is the energy that I pick up on. You feel me? Someone portraying themselves as uh, someone who is loving and all this other shit and things of that nature but she has been woke up and see some shit for what the fuck it really is and she like no nah, i'm not you know dealing with motherfuckers from the past who gonna sit up here and constantly keep fucking hurting me over and over i don't have time for that you feel me like i'm worthy of love you know and eventually Someone will come in with an offering who actually is interested in just me and not just for what they see. You feel what I'm saying? Just looking at the outside and not focus so much on the inside is the energy that I'm picking up on. So that's what I'm getting. She just wants to live her best life, take care of her kids and things of that nature. And, you know... <laughs> If she has a business or has her own money or whatever the case may be, which she should, you know, I'm feeling, you know, she's just going to continue to focus on her options, her ideas, her her talents, her, 
her just getting the bag, just taking care of her and her and the child that I see on this boat. And she wants love. That man ain't sitting there for nothing. People view her as, you know, a star or she's related to a star or her father. I think her daddy is the, is the one who's the star. You feel what I'm saying? So, yeah. Then I feel like, um, you know, a lot of people on social media, you know, try to go back and forth with her and she stands her ground. A lot of people on the outside looking in don't really know the situation at hand. I'm getting she has been doing some soul searching inner healing and getting spiritual guidance and knowledge and things of that nature and you know has a close relationship to the most high and things of that nature so that's a good thing she wants to be fully committed to um and focus on herself is the energy i'm picking up on she's happy with the decisions that she's made her experiences and things of that nature um so she's satisfied with that but she most definitely wants something committed we have temperance so she needs to find balance in the things that she wants to get this new commitment or new offering or whatever it is that she is trying to manifest is the energy i'm picking up on balance more spiritual healing you know things of that nature being patient with self you know getting over one bad breakup or relationship and just focusing on self and the child or kids or kid as we speak you feel me? And new love will come in. The more love you you give out is what you'll receive. So she's just waiting on this uh, connection, this deeper commitment or man or woman, whomever it is that she falls in love with to take that next leap, leap of faith and possibly have a marriage, 1155. 